Praise be to God. <clears throat> Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's a joy to come into God's presence to listen the word of the Lord, to deliver the word of the Lord. Health, is a, health has become a major issue <clears throat> nowadays. Everyone is undergoing some sort of turmoil, some sort of affliction, <clears throat> physically, spiritually. And uh, everywhere we see ill health, the sickness, the physical and spiritual ailments. And this, ha this hazards pull a person down always from his uh, normal state of mind. And people, when they down uh, with the sickness, people may lose their uh, peace of mind. And uh, they will be frustrated and no doubt they will be under stress. This is the craftiness and wicked schemes of the devil. We have the security, the security is in Christ Jesus and ultimately the health of your person comes from above. Health has become a major issue nowadays. We need to take care of our health. Health comes from God and God alone. There are three, four, three, three, four important elements from which we can derive health. We can be healthy and courageous and strong. Strength is more important. Being courageous is more important. And health is wealth of your person. The spiritual wealth. And what are the, let's see, there are four elements which will lead a person to be healthy. Which will give a person to be strong and courageous. What are the four elements? We are well aware of the four elements. Now, the title I have set for today's message is Remedy of your sinful humanity. Remedy of your sinful humanity. Other way, if you put the title in other way around, health of your person. Health of your person. It depends upon four elements. Four elements. What are the four elements which will be helpful for a person to be healthy? It gives instant energy. In the midst of the confused world, in the midst of the satanic influences, people are dragged by Satan very easily. Satan is so cunning and active. At the same time, Christ Jesus is roaming around to redeem the people who are under the clutches of evil. What are the four elements? First one I have given, I have taken word of God. Word of God, Jesus conquered the devil by saying the word of God, by sending his word to defeat the devil. Man will not live by bread alone. He can live by the word that has been uttered by the mouth of God. That is the word of God. Matthew 24, 35. Heaven and earth will pass away. My word will stand forever. My word will never pass away. It will remain. First Peter 1.25 It will remain. Psalmist says in 119.72 Out of his experience He is a wealthy man And he is given a lot of resources But yet he says, thy word is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Can we say like that? We may have everything in our lives. At the same time, if you don't have peace of mind, we will be completely nothing. And the psalmist says, thy word is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. And he further says in 119.174 Thy law is my delight having experienced the word 
he discloses the secrecy to get his heart's desire fulfilled. How can a person to get his heart's desire fulfilled? It's a, it is, it's a secret and it is uh, exposed in the Psalms. Delight yourselves in the Lord, Psalm 37, 4, and He will satisfy all your heart's desire. Don't murmur at any cause, don't argue at any cause, don't get into battle with others at any cause. Don't have any bias and prejudice on anybody at any cost. It will spoil your health. And don't have any grudges on anybody. It will spoil your health. And instead of all these things, what we do? Delight yourself in the Lord. The God has brought me here. When, when I look back the decades I have gone through, look back my earlier days, how God is so faithful. And the way he has led me from the foulest snare and the trap and the satanic influence and the deadly pestilence, we have many things to praise God. And the same God is able to lead us still further. We are not here by accident. Every human being has to run the race which is already ascertained by God. And we have to accomplish the race, whether we like it or not. But how we will, how we, how do we accomplish the race is matters. Now, delight yourself in the law and he will satisfy all your heart's desire. Generally, word of God appears in the form of promises, precepts, commands and uh, um, warning. There are four, four categories of the word of the Lord touches our hearts and minds according to Proverb 1-2. Through this, we will, <clears throat> through the word of the Lord, we will gain wisdom to live, instruction, understanding and insights. If we go to attend an interview, we have to do certain things, we have to set right ourselves. We have to keep ourselves in order. We have to present ourselves in such a way that would impress the examiner or interviewer. For that, we need to have a pre proper preparation. For anything and everything, proper preparation is required. And uh, that too, the word of God gives us the proper preparation. The word of God reminds us to delight ourselves in the Lord. And if we um, are yielding ourselves to the word of the Lord, we will achieve what the word of the Lord wants us to achieve. Because the word of God is life. In the beginning it was, and the fullness of time came, the word came into being as the son of God. And he dwelt among us. And uh, the word of God is life. And word of God is the Logos is God. And when God is with us, who can be against us? Little, little infirmities will go away. It will threaten us. It will be like a hurdle. And we can bypass, we can overpower the hurdles by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord says, if you want to prosper, Meditate the word of God. Keep the word in your heart. How many years you have been reading the word of the Lord? You are reading the word of the Lord. How many years do you have any word? Do you have any word um, by heart? Do you are you able to recollect the word that has been studied or memorized earlier? If not, you correct yourself. And try to keep God's word in your heart. Maybe the chosen one who had undergone lot of persecution and affliction, turmoil, she has pondered upon the word of the Lord. She has stored up the word of the Lord in her heart. And when the word of God is in our hearts, nothing to worry. We will be like a lion. We will be strong. We will not be 
terrified with the situation and circumstances circumstances will never be a threat to the people who have the word of god in their hearts and minds psalm 1 123 people who delight in the word of god and meditate on the word of the lord day and night how are we we are be a nominal christian we de- we contemplate the word of the lord day and night that it will be stored up in our heart revelation 13 says blessed is the one who reads aloud who reads loudly who reads the word of the lord loudly blessed is the one who hears the word of the lord he is a blessed man and woman who takes the word of god into his or her heart he is a blessed one he is a blessed one matthew 15:19 out of the heart evil thoughts murder adultery sexual immorality theft false testimony slander will come so that's how we are instructed to keep the word of god in our heart we are the fallen creature every time and again we are tempted to fall and we are falling down every offer so to in order to keep ourselves stand what do we do keep the word of the lord in our heart because our heart is already filled with the filthy things what are the filthy things it is listed evil thoughts murder adultery sexual immorality theft false testimony slander let's take the authority of the word of the lord when we uh, as we grow towards the christian maturity as the word of the minister as the uh, prayer warriors we need to be authentic authenticity over satan authenticity over the info the spirit of infirmities the spirit of infirmity is there the devil has caused damages in the lives of the lady the bench lady for 18 years Jesus delivered her and Jesus rebuked the spirit of infirmity and delivered her so this uh, we need to be authentic to be authentic we need to be filled with the word of god in our heart so day and night you meditate upon it you should be able to say the bible verse by heart and uh, joshua 1:8 says keep the book of the law always on your lips meditate on it day and night and then so that you may be careful to do everything written in it you will be prosperous and you will be successful jeremiah 15:16 says when your word come when your word when your words came he says jeremiah 15:16 i ate them and they were my joy they were my heart's delight when the word of the lord came unto jeremiah he ate them he swallowed them it means he is one with the word of the law and he don't worry about he doesn't bother about the surrounding the threatening feeling the threatening situation so word of god gives victory over satan over the ailments over the ill over the ill health over the sickness over the diseases over any virus threat so let's try to keep the word of the lord in our heart by meditating it day and night and we will be prospered we will be healthy and strong second element to be healthy is blood of jesus we all know we are well aware this this gives instant healing to anyone blood of jesus christ is victorious blood of jesus christ is victorious let's pronounce this blood of jesus because it speaks more than what was spoken by the blood of abel in the old testament context our enemy physical and spiritual enemy adversary has many many wicked schemes and he defiles us revelation 12 11 says god's people triumph over satan by the blood of jesus and by the testimony they had so for anything and everything you need to you need to have blood of jesus at hand and you see 
the blood of jesus is at your door post if that if if you see the blood of jesus at your door post you will be survived that is not the myth or mythology that is not something else it has happened in the lives of the people of israel and in the lives of the people of egyptian god made a dichotomy between people of israel and people of egyptian by the precious blood of jesus blood of the lamb the lamb has been slaughtered and it has the blood of the lamb um, was sprinkled on every doorpost of the people of god israelites and the pestilence had gone through pestilence did not touch the houses where the blood of jesus is seen on their doorpost so blood of jesus is an important element to give one healthy to be healthy isaiah um before that see this um, by the power of the blood and the testimony of jesus they have conquered the satan really there is power in the blood there is we sometimes we may think that there is power in the medicine if the if one medicine is not worked out let's look go for another medicine but nothing else like that blood of jesus as its power there is power in the blood of jesus the more we recite the blood of jesus we our sins are completely atoned for our sins are removed the more we recite the blood of jesus blood of jesus let the blood of jesus cleanse me let the blood of jesus cleanse me automatically you are cleansed by the power of the blood jesus shed on the cross and now isaiah 1:16 to 18 uh, blood of isaiah 1:16 to 18 if you can read this uh, passage we will easily to understand what is all about isaiah chapter 1 16 and 18 i will read it for you wash and make yourselves clean take your evil deeds out of my sight stop doing wrong learn to do right seek justice defend the oppressed and take up the cause of the fatherless plead the cause of the widow plead the cause of the widow come now let's settle the matter says the lord god says he opens the way for us to be healthy he instructs us how to be healthy through the blood come now let's settle the matter says the lord how to settle the matter though your sins are like scarlet they shall be white as snow you don't worry about that your sins are like scarlet it will be made white as snow by the power of the blood of jesus and though they are red as crimson they shall be like a wool don't worry about that it is red like crimson it will be like a wool it will be changed like a wool only thing you rely on yourself to god rely on rely, rely on god you you rely yourself on god and the blood of jesus is powerful and it will cleanse you and it will help it will make you it will keep you healthy ephesians 170 17 says jesus we have in jesus we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins and uh, uh, psalm 5116 god will not delight in sacrifice he will not take pleasure in burnt offering and he will take pleasure in what broken and contrite heart blood will gush out when the person is broken and contrite in heart jesus did the same thing the blood gushed out from jesus when he was crushed and his spirit was broken and contrite so god will never despise the broken and contrite heart and now hebrews 9 chapter 20 15 to 27 it's written the blood of jesus cleanses our consciousness from the acts of the acts that leads to death 
it cleanses from the consciousness from the acts from the activities that leads a person to death it cleanses and it protects us and again uh, jesus blood saves us isaiah chapter 118 come let's uh, settle the matter see jesus says let's settle the matter you should know you should be aware that there is blood that has been shed on the cross that is more than sufficient for you to be healthy and strong so see the help of the blood of jesus and try to be cleansed by the power of the blood that is available for you and proverb in psalms that 103 10 says god does not trust us our sins deserve trust or uh, does not uh, uh, god did not uh, repay our sins god has taken all our sins on him the condemnation is upon jesus christ psalm 103 12 as for the east is from the west god has removed your sins as for east is from the west so far he has removed our transgressions from us through the blood of jesus god has taken um, all our transgressions as for east is from the west so far he has removed all our transgressions from us it's a joyful statement for us it gives boost he gives soup to our soul first john 1 9 8 and 7 it's an important uh, verse if we confess our sins how to come out of the sin sin is critical sin is cruel sin is vile and co- is sin caused by devil jesus did not um, tempt anyone with sin and how to come out of this if we confess our sins god is so faithful and just and he will forgive us our sins and then he will purify us from all unrighteousness jesus will purify us from all unrighteousness and verse 8 says if we claim to be without sin we are deceiving ourselves when we say that i am i am right if we claim without sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us and verse 7 says the blood of jesus christ the son of god purifies us purifies us from every sins and trespasses so that's the good news once our sins are forgiven once our sins are cleansed we are healthy once our sins are taken away we are healthy and strong we are healed so blood of jesus heals a person from every sins and trespasses let's cling unto the blood of jesus first one let's cling unto the word of the lord and let's cling unto the blood of jesus that one i have taken the name of the lord the name of the lord it is written roman 10:13 call on the name call on my name and you will be saved oh jesus of nazareth have mercy on me you will be saved oh jesus son of god come and touch my eyes open my eyes to see you the parthimais he cried unto god the name of the lord son of david the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run to it and be saved take the name of jesus what do what do we do the name jehovah rafa god heals jehovah nishi god is my banner and god is victorious god gives victory unto me jehovah jaira god is our provider he provides all our needs if we are aware that god god has his several names and he is presenting himself according to the situation and the need of your person then according to the need when we address god he will satisfy all our needs if there is anything which is required for us we address god as jehovah jaira there is anything required for our concerning our health we will address god as jehovah rafa if we need any victory over our enemies over the enemies we will address god as the jehovah nishi like that god is given many more names roman 10:9 if you declare if you declare with your mouth 
Jesus is the Lord and believes in you believes in your heart believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and you will be saved this is a secret way that's a shortcut way to be saved many people they don't know whether we are whether I am saved or not everyone has to ask that question to themselves whether I am saved or not this question will give you right answer Roman 10 9 if you declare with your mouth if you declare with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord Jesus whom Jesus raised him from the dead and you will be saved if you believe that you will be saved and find refuge in his name Jesus is a strong tower Jesus is our fortress Jesus is our uh, refuge buckler he is a stronghold and then you call Jesus by name and you will be saved and Philippians uh, this um, Philippians 2 10 again in the name of Jesus every knee shall bow in heaven and in and on earth and under the earth and every tongue will confess that Christ Jesus is Lord so the name Jesus itself heals a person the uh, devil is causing trouble the spirit of infirmity is causing trouble to the person and the spirit of infirmity is uh, kneeling down before the name Jesus so when we have the name Jesus it will be no more the spirit of infirmity will flee away that's the secret to be healthy Exodus 15 26 says Jehovah Rapha Genesis 22 14 Jehovah Jireh Exodus 17 15 Jehovah Nishi we have seen all such things and Moses celebrates the victory God has granted to defeat the Amalekites at Repiti and he addressed God in different names then fourth one fourth element to be healthy is stripes of Jesus wounds of Jesus always we should remember Jesus took wounds for us on the cross and they see this uh, the the soldiers they they were they have beaten Jesus and it was scarred on the body of on the body of Christ and the scar will heal the person who is crying unto God and by this it is written Isaiah 53 by Jesus stripes we are healed the more you pronounce this secret of this verse you will be healed more and God uh, God ultimately God is the source of healing and he gives healing and he heals his people and he opens he paves the way for the people to be healed to be strong and healthy and stripes Isaiah 53 5 Jesus was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our sins and iniquities the chastisement of peace was upon Jesus and by his stripes we are healed 1st Peter 2 24 yes Jesus bore all our sins he took all our infirmities he took all our diseases he took all our burdens behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of this world take the stripes of Jesus Jesus bore all of our sins in his body on the cross his blood his words his his uh, he his wound caused by the crown of thorn they put the crown of thorn and the thorn um, has come out in some of the portions of his forehead and there was a scar because of the thorn has which come out and this this car or this stripes brings healing unto us when you meditate the uh, scar or wounds Jesus took on the cross you will be healed you just try to meditate on what God did there are four elements to be healthy and strong this is instant requirement for us for everyone instead of going from Genesis to Revelation these are the shortcut methods four elements which is mentioned in the Bible 
first one is the word of the lord give importance to word of the lord don't insult the word give due respect to the word of the lord give priority to the word of the lord in your life and second thing the blood of jesus the blood of jesus will cleanse you will cleanse you from all sins and trespasses third one the name of the lord name plenty of names we can call god is a wonderful counselor prince of peace everlasting father jehovah jaira jehovah rafa jehovah nishi jehovah diskenu jehovah ruwa there are several names when you pronounce the name when you address god according to your situation according to your need you will be healthy and finally by the stripes we are healed stripes jesus took on the cross word of god and then blood of jesus and then name of the lord and then the stripes of jesus if we take this four together and meditate upon it and you will be healthy and you will be strong you will be healed satan will have no authority to touch you my dear friends take these four elements in your heart and in your body in your mind you will be healed may god bless you amen